Hello and thank you for stopping by California Gold Connection. Um, today we're going to talk about converting um, your weights and measures, depending on how much you're what what you have, and, and converting it into the proper um, value that you're looking for. Um, quite often I get calls and say, "Oh, I have so many penny weight, or I have so many grains, or I have so many grams, or so many ounces," um, and people want to know how to convert that um, and understand what they have and what they're going to get paid on. So um, what a lot of people don't know is Google has a built-in calculator and it's very quick and easy and so we'll start here and we're gonna and the way you enter a value in Google Calculator is we're gonna do ounces to grams okay so uh, what you, what you want to do is rather than putting times or equals or whatever just do whatever you're looking for whatever you have and then say I want to convert it to this value, so grams um, or whatever, and that that's how you enter a value in the Google Calculator. And then right here, here's the answer. Right here, all you gotta do is enter that and search, and boom, it brings up the answer. Now, this is one thing I want to talk about, and everybody gets hung up on when they're buying gold or selling gold and trying to convert. Is they use they just put ounces in here and then try try to convert it. And this ounces, um, this is a abor borpial ounces. It's a little tough to pronounce which is 28.34 grams per ounce. That is not how gold or silver or any bullion for that matter is bought. It's all bought in troy ounces. So um, you need to be using the right conversion. So this is the first place everybody makes a mistake. They just type in ounces and they're looking for a conversion and they get this value. There's this 28 grams per ounce. That's not the proper ounces to be using. All bullion is bought in troy ounces. So instead you need to type in troy Troy ounces to grams. Okay, now we're in business. 31.1 troy ounces per gram. That's the value you want to be using. Um, so make sure whatever you're converting it to, um, make sure you got the troy in, in the front of it, and then you'll have the accurate measurement. So say you want to convert um, a troy ounce to a penny weight. Um, so there you go. One troy ounce equals 20 penny weight. Now, um, if you have a certain amount of ounces and you're looking to convert it to penny weight, all you got to do in the front of this here is type in 10, 10 troy ounces to penny weight equals 200 penny weight. So this is this is a very handy tool to use um, when you're trying to convert. And this is the first thing people are doing when they get online and they're trying to figure out what they have. Um, they're trying to uh, um, figure out what they have and, and, then they, and they always get messed up on the troy ounces to a vorpious ounces and uh, that's where they make their first mistake so um, 10 troy ounces let's say the grains so that's 4800 grains um, how many 10 troy ounces how many grams and this is what you should be looking for is how many grams you have because that's if you're being quoted properly that's what you want to be looking for so 10 troy ounces that's 311 grams of gold so um, or and we could also switch switch this around and do um, let's get rid of that so I got grams to troy ounces so let's put the two and let's just do that grams to troy ounces and see what it shows us so one gram equals 0 0.0321 um, troy ounces. Well, if I got, say I've got 100 grams, so 100 grams equals 3.21 ounces. So that's, um, in a nutshell, that's how you use a Google calculator and any value, just remember to put whatever, however, whatever quantity you have um, to, now here, let's do this one real quick just so you got it. Let's do ounces to troy ounces. One ounce equals 0.911 troy ounces. So if you're weighing this, if you're weighing something on a on a letter like a letter scale, which a lot of people have, and you got um, 15 ounces, well, how many troy ounces does that equal? Well, 15 ounces equals 13.67 troy ounces, or let's do it to grams. And this is where a lot of people, this is what a lot of people are trying to do. They got a letter scale, or they got heavy stuff like silver or something, a bunch of it, and they're weighing on a bathroom scale. And uh, they'll do 15 ounces to um, let's do 15 ounces to what were we what were we, oh grams let's do grams so 15 ounces is 425 grams 
So this is this is a, a handy conversion. This is what a lot of you are going to be doing. Um, let's do pounds. Uh, <clears throat> so 15 pounds equals 6,800 grams. Um, so this is what a lot of you guys will be doing, especially you guys that have a lot of silver. Um, they'll be putting on a bathroom scale and trying to convert it to grams or ounces. So again, if we're converting to ounces, we want to make sure we do troy um, ounces. And so there you got 218 troy ounces. So um, that's how you use the calculator. Um, maybe we're a little long there, but um, that gives you a little understanding of how to use a calculator. Below this video, I'm going to put a lot of different conversions that you can just look at and play with um, if you want. But uh, that's how you use a Google calculator. I hope this helped you, and you guys have a great day, and we'll uh, look forward to taking care of you. Bye-bye.